Deltoid Intramuscular Injection. The deltoid intramuscular injection is a common procedure. One must be aware of the proper location for the injection and the proximity of the neurovascular structures present within the involved region. The size of the deltoid mass is small in relationship to other intramuscular injection sites. That leaves a small margin for error at the deltoid site for injection. Deltoid injection is ideal for administering vaccinations. Accurate identification of the safe zone for injection is important. Here you can see the deltoid muscle, the origin from the acromion, and the insertion into the deltoid tuberosity into the humerus. So what is the correct location for the injection? The correct location for injection is in the middle part of the deltoid muscle from the side view. The acromion process is a great landmark to help in selecting the proper site for injection. So you identify the acromion, as you can see here, and you go about 2.5 cm to 5 cm below the acromion. This is the ideal site for injection, which is about 1 to 2 inches below the acromion. You can use the square method. Injection site for this method is located in the middle third of the square or the triangle method. The injection site for this method is located in the middle third of the triangle. Both methods are about the same. If you superimpose both injection techniques, the ideal site for injection remain about the same. Some people may make a triangle with the fingers as shown here to have a proper location for the injection. And you can see that the top finger is over the acromion process. Inferiorly, there is less of a safe zone due to the close proximity of the neurovascular bundle to the inferior part of the deltoid. Care must be given not to cause injury to the axillary nerve and the radian nerve during intramuscular injection of the deltoid muscle. The axillary nerve runs transversely from posterior to anterior about 7 cm distal to the acromion. The injection site should not exceed 5 cm distal to the acromion because this is the danger zone when the axillary nerve can be injured. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.